Raphael Morris heads a small group of extremist Jews who disguise themselves as Palestinians to get around a ban on non-Muslims praying in the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound. They could be arrested or attacked if they're discovered. After Israel captured the old city from Jordan in the 1967 Middle East war, it started to allow Jews to go to visit their most sacred place. And in recent years, it's allowed a sharp rise in numbers. Palestinian Muslims see this as a provocation. This is also the third holiest site in Islam. I have the responsibility to defend and protect Al-Aqsa Mosque. Al-Aqsa is my life. Hanadi Halawani was previously banned from going to the compound by Israel, accused of belonging to an illegal group. She's angry that Jews are impersonating Muslims. It's clear that the settlers entering Al-Aqsa in disguise hides aggression and terrorizes Muslims praying. It's clearly political. Raphael makes no secret of his ultimate goal, to rebuild the Jewish temples destroyed in biblical times. The temples will be exactly over there, where there's a big uh, gold uh, mosque. And yeah, it will hurt, but that's our vision, and that's the next stage. Israeli police say they are stopping attempts by nationalist Jews to pray at Temple Mount, with fears their actions could spark violence. Raphael's been temporarily barred from the old city, but he pledges he'll be back. Yolant Nell, BBC News, Jerusalem.